it's not on. It's not right. It's a fucking robbery. Right. Grab yourself a fucking coffee. Sit down. Relax. And let's talk about the absolute catastrophic event last night at Riyadh. Now, I have been a boxing fan for fucking easily 20 odd years now. 20 odd years. I remember staying up watching boxing with my dad. You know, the old British heavyweights and stuff like that, like fucking Danny Williams against Matt Skelton and fucking Lennox Lewis and all that went back in, in the early days. I have an apology for Francis Ngannou. I gave him zero chance of anything in that fight. Absolutely anything. We all knew the power he had. We all knew the power that he had. Uh, but I did not expect the fight to go like it did. To put a proper breakdown of this, like pre previously before this fight, there was a couple of good fights. There was a couple of, like, let's be honest, um, Mahmoudov and uh, Moses should not be fighting the, that level of opponent. Like, let's be honest, they, that, that's a padded record coming there. It's so, like, the levels, the, the, the levels between them are fucking so far apart. Like, from an out, outside looking in, it's also, what 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 are you gaining from a fucking 20 second fight or a minute fight or two minute fight? Absolute nothing. Nothing at all. Um, and there's so, this is one of the biggest problems in boxing is the matchmaking. This is what boxing should be. No disrespect to Francis Gano, but he should not have been in that fucking ring last night. He should not be fighting on his boxing debut, the lineal heavyweight champion of the fucking world. Not a fucking chance should he be fighting the greatest or self-proclaimed greatest boxer of all time. Judges cards from last night. Now, first round, okay, two out of three gave it to Fury. Ed Gardner gave it to Ngannou. Uh, and then round two, once again, another close round. But then um, two out of three, once again, gave it to Fury. So, we're seeing a pattern here. I know they're close fights, but I strongly believe going into the fourth round, Ngannou was 4-0 up, and that is with a knockdown. So, sorry, going into the fifth round, Ngannou was 4-0 up, and with a knockdown. Juan Carlos Pavard. Is it Pavard? Um, I'm going off the thing. I can't really uh, pronounce his name properly. Uh, how can you score 4, 5, 6, 7, all to Fury? When we look at the punch count, over the them rounds. So total punches landed, okay, versus thrown. So we're looking at four, five, six, and seven. So Fury threw six punches. So Fury landed six punches in the first one, nine punches in the fifth, nine in the sixth, and seventh, uh, and five in the seventh. Nganu landed eight punches in the fourth. Six in the fifth, five in the sixth, and five in the seventh. So, if you're looking at damage, Tyson Fury had more damage on his face. It, it, I mean, and you look at power punches. Francis and Gano landed more power punches in the first, in the fourth round. He landed more power punches in the sixth round, and in the seventh, he landed more punches than Fury or power punches in them rounds which is damage, uh, how, how can, just because Tyson Fury threw less power punches that the land percentage is higher, does not mean that he has created more damage. I, I, I don't, I have no idea how this card is a 96-93 in Fury's case. I have no idea. And I, like, if you can explain to me round by round how this has happened, I will 100%, I'm happy to listen, because, and I'm not being naive with it, but there is no chance on earth Tyson Fury won last night. It can't be. It cannot happen. It's a 10 round fight and at even best, five rounds apiece and Ungarnu knockout, knockdown makes it a 6-4 fight. Okay, I honestly, a 95-94 in favour of Ungarnu is the closest. I, I, I've got 96-93 Ungarnu. I really do, and I, I strongly believe, like, for you to get a 96-93 Fury, you are giving Francis Ngannou three rounds, and one of them being a 10-8. Three rounds out of 10. 
If you can explain to me how you can only give Francis Gano three rounds out of ten, I will absolutely listen. Absolutely listen. But it's not on. It's not right. It's a fucking robbery. And I don't like that word. I think that word is overused in boxing, okay? Close fights and not robbery. Close fights and not robbery. We need to understand that. There's a difference between a close fight and a complete robbery. A couple of weeks ago, we saw a robbery happen with KSI and Tommy Fury. This weekend, we see a robbery. This is probably one of the biggest robberies I've seen in a very, very, very long time. Do you know I mean? You look at Cattrall versus um, Josh Taylor. That's a robbery. That's not a close fight. It's one-way traffic. This fight is one-way, okay? The, there was an elbow landed by Tyson Fury. How is that not a point deduction? An elbow. Tyson Fury ran out of ideas against a complete and utter novice of boxing. Francis Ngannou is an incredible combat athlete. We need to understand that. He was the he uh, heavyweight champion of the world in MMA and UFC. The cream of the crop, UFC. He was at the fucking elite. I, as an UFC fan, MMA fan, want to see Francis Gano versus John Jones. Always have been. Always wanted that fight. I strongly believe that John Jones wins that fight because he, in my eyes, is the GOAT. But for him to solidify himself as the GOAT, he needs to beat Ngannou. For Fury to announce himself as the GOAT, he needs to go and beat Usyk, Joshua, and possibly someone else who's up and coming or at that top doing. He needs to beat... That was not convincing last night and we've got to understand, we've got to take away this fucking shit side of it of going, well, it was... It. No, that was poor, okay? Listen, Tyson Fury has, a, has achieved so much in his life and we've got to understand this. He has achieved fucking tenfolds to what I might achieve um, when it comes to boxing. But I've never gone around saying that I am the fucking greatest um, ever. No man out of his mother's womb will fucking beat me. Unless. I have never said any of this. Okay? There is a part where I believe that they did not take Francis Ngannou seriously at all. They did not take Francis Ngannou seriously at all. Tyson Fury landed two punches in that third round. Two punches. Why can we not class that as a 10-7? Why, can't, why can't we class that as a 10-7? Um, where Francis Ngannou landed fucking a lot more. He, he landed 10, 12 punches, is it? I, 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 I don't get how this, this has done more damage to boxing than any YouTube fight ever will. In my own opinion, this has done more damage to boxing than any YouTube crossover fight ever will. Because we're looking at one of, we're looking at supposedly the greatest, our generation and all this, fighting a Norton Nort professional boxer and we never gave Francis Gano credit. We, I mean, I've said it, MMA fighters, hands gonna get tired, hands gonna drop, Fury's gonna box his head off. Francis Gano can't go there and try and outbox a boxer. He's gonna get his head boxed off and I've said that on my previous video. But Francis Gano must have absolutely nailed Mike Tyson's brief. He's mocked us all with the, the pad footages. Because we were like, oh, he's too slow, he's too stiff, he's this, he's shit, this, and Ngannou. And he did not go forward. He was like, let's go. Because he knows if he goes up forward, goes wild. We know Francis Ngannou's wild. We know he's wild with his punches. But he knew if I go after Fury, he's just going to pick me apart. He stayed relaxed, stayed calm, and he fucking nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. And you've got to give him credit. Now what's next? What is next for Tyson Fury? I don't really want to see Fury versus Usyk anymore as much as I did. I really don't. As much as, as, much as I do, there's a big asterisk next to Fury's name now. Because that was not a convincing win, if win at all. We've got to be honest. Like, if you believe Fury won, brilliant. Let me know in the comments because I will be very intrigued to how you scored that and if you were to watch it again without the blinkered eye of being a Fury fan and being a boxing fan, would you score it different? Uh, you might not have, and that's cool. I'm, I'm all for it. You, you score the way you score. But in my eyes, I got Francis Gano 
three up going um doing uh, doing two rounds up and obviously the knockdown which was a 10 8 and a 96 93 in my eyes was a perfect thing or even a 95 94 in Ghana I could also see that as well but in Ghana uh, Fury versus Usyk I think Alexander Usyk needs to make the noise now I think this is his chance um to dethrone Tyson Fury and I think Tyson Fury knows that I think Tyson Fury knows that because last night they cancelled the press conference and all this. I think Frank Warren knew that. Frank Warren, at the end of the fight, said to Tyson Fury, you've got this. What's that about? What's that about, Frank? How do you know that he's got this? Why did it take so long for the judges' cards to be collected? Should not take long at all to fucking count 10 rounds, okay? Because the, the, the rounds are already done. I mean, they, should, they, they should be getting counted as we go along. But what we're not seeing is the, the total being added up as we go along. Not at all. We're not seeing that at all. And I, I don't I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Do you know I mean, really don't. How can Francis Ngannou lose seven rounds? I can't get it. I don't get how Francis Ngannou loses seven rounds in that fight. I really don't. But Usyk versus Fury on 23rd of December will not be happening. And if you, just like me, a boxing fan, wanting that fight to happen, I'm really sorry to say that will not be fucking happening. Expect it to be maybe into next year. I, don't, I will be honest, I don't think that fight will ever happen. I think there's too much on the line for Tyson Fury to risk now, now, right now. I think he realises that his inactivity is catching up with him. The celebrity Netflix star um, might be catching up with him. And we are seeing a potential decline here. And I think he will get out of the sport before he starts losing and gets a few losses onto his record. And I think he'll want to keep that perfect record before facing Alexander Usyk. Listen. As a boxing fan, I would love to see Tyson Fury go out there, face out Alexander Usyk. And I would also, regardless of the results, love to see Fury fight against Anthony Joshua. Because it's the two fights, as boxing fans, we, we need to see. Who is, like, put Anthony Joshua versus Wilder on the undercard of Fury versus Usyk. There is no reason why boxing cannot do that. There's no reason why. The money and deep pockets in Saudi Arabia should be able to put that fight on because they put so many fucking mismatches on these cards and fucking padded records put fights on that the fans want to fucking see. Frank Warren, Eddie Hearn, you're in a fucking pickle now. You need to come together and start putting on these fights. You need to start putting on great fights because what's happening in, this is the shit we're given. This is the sort of shit we are dealt with, okay? We have got a fucking, one of the allegedly greatest boxers of all fucking time facing against a zero, a zero debutant boxing professional boxer. Like that should not, that's not fights we should be happening. Yes, the fucking, the star power that they both have is incredible, massive. But Francis and Ganu should go up through the ranks. Face Fury later on when he's had a few fights, and I think they knew that, and I think they knew the, that the, the threat that Nganu possessed. I also think that they massively underestimated Nganu. And you've got to remember, Nganu's used to taking fucking kicks and elbows to the face. A punch in 10 ounce gloves, or 12 ounce gloves, or 8 ounce whatever they were wearing, 10 I think, is not going to create the same damage as a 4 ounce glove off a fucking heavyweight. And we've seen Francis and Garner only lost some decision twice. Um, so as you can see, it's a bit of a doom and gloom for boxing, okay? And I think the the thing that will really top it off now is if Eddie Hearn announces Conor Ben versus Eubank, Chris Eubank Jr. Um, and that will just top it off. That will be boxing fully in the mud because it is right now. But I think we're, we're very, very close to um, losing a lot of fans in boxing and it goes down to shit like this. Do you know what I mean? It goes down to shit like this. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you thought of the fight. Um, how did you score it? But for Francis Garner to lose seven rounds, I can't get my head around it. I cannot get my head around it. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a comment on how you scored the fight. Click that subscribe button. And yeah, we'll uh, we'll see what next in uh, in boxing. And let me know what you want in boxing as well. What do you th want next for Ngannou? What do you want next for Fury? And if that goes into MMA, doesn't even go five minutes. Does not go five minutes if that's MMA. Let me know in the comments what you think and uh, and yeah, see you at the next one.